Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to Tales of Destiny, the Director's Cut English Patch. As always, I'm Chaos in the Sky, and it's been about seven months since I last played this. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll see the big difference between the, uh, the last video uploaded, which I think was like part 54, and then this video, which should be part 55. So, for those of you who don't know what happened, back in December, I think it was, when I was in the middle of this playthrough, or near the end of it, rather, my SSD had a crash, and I lost a lot of stuff. I had a lot of stuff backed up, but I did not have a 100% backup of my computer, because backups hate me. And so, I lost some things, and mostly what I lost was some random thumbnails here and there, uh, a couple of other media-related things, like, uh, images and whatnot that I used for, like, anime villainous, and a couple of things for my channel and all. Stuff that was, like, that really sucked to lose, but it wasn't, you know, the end of the world kind of deal. Like, I was able to remake the majority of it. But the big problem was that I lost save files of any game that I, like, had that wasn't through Steam on my computer, and Tales of Destiny was the only save file that mattered at the time of that happening. So, I had to replay through the game, as we're gonna see here, where Aether Sphere is misspelt. I had to replay through the entire game, because, by the way, Zimmer, thank you so much for subbing to Tier 1 for four months, greatly appreciated, and Nightmare, welcome to stream. Happy birthday, brother, have a good birthday. Welcome. Gamer, welcome as well. But, uh, I had to replay the game from scratch, essentially, is what I had to do. And I put that off for a very, very long time. One of the big reasons I put it off is because I got my new mic not long after my SSD crash, and my new mic did not like me using a controller. It would cut my mic out every now and then when I was using uh, my DualShock controller, and I could not find a solution to fix it until today I finally decided, you know what, I'm gonna go back to my- I know the problem isn't my mic necessarily, it's my sound mixer. So I went back to my old Scarlett 2i2 sound mixer, for those of you who know what that brand is. I had the new Scarlett Solo, the Scarlett Solo was not working with my controller, so... I'm hoping. I did tests and all. Uh, my audio sounded fine when I tested it, so... Hopefully using my older sound mixer isn't gonna be a problem here as now I'm able to use my controller again, because I did not want to play this game without controller. And now I've played back through to where we left off, so some things are gonna be different. Probably I'm gonna have some different, um, what are they called? The Sordian devices. The Sordian devices. I'm probably gonna have some different stuff mastered on that. I'm gonna have different items. The levels might be a little different. I think I got my levels about right. I was around level 38 when we left off the game originally, and I know I got to exactly where I left off in the last video. So, also, please keep in mind, I haven't played the game in seven months, and when I played the game to catch back up, I speed ran it, because I just started, I remade the save file over the past, like, four days. I just took a lot of free time to play, and it took about nine and a half hours, as you can see here. But, uh, so, I remember the gist, I remember the majority of what was going on in the game, we had just recently found out that Rudy and Leon were siblings, Leon died, the, uh, I can't remember his name, but the guy who was Leon and Rudy's dad is trying to destroy the world and make a sphere of Earth around the world using the destroyed parts of the world and whatnot, etc. You might, I don't, oh, about me remembering this stuff about the game, yeah. So, my point is, is I'm not gonna remember some of the finer details, and I apologize for that. It's very unfortunate that that happened, that I didn't get to play this game straight through, but, uh, it, it just happened. So, there's nothing that can be done about it. I can only do what the best I can, which is to have replayed it, like, seven months later and now do this. You know, the best time to redo the save file and play the game was seven months ago. The second best time is right now, so here we are. But now that I've spent, like, four minutes explaining all of that, let's load up the save data. I believe... I watched back the last video, or at least most of the last video, before streaming today, and chat had told me, apparently, that there's like 10-ish hours left in the game. So I'm hoping, uh, words, hoping? I'm hoping we can have this done in like three streams, because one of the main reasons I finally got the save file and all done is, spoiler alert, I want to do another Tales of Redux, now that I'm almost done with FF16 and whatnot. I need another, like, fairly long-term game, and I want another JRPG, and I was like, I should do a Tales of Redux. I don't know what game I'm gonna Redux yet, but I know I want to do a Redux, not one of the ones that I haven't played yet. And then I realized, like, I never finished Tales of Destiny. I can't start another Tales of playthrough until I get that done. And so that's why we're here to get this done, so I can start another Tales of game. Chat, let me know if the game audio is bad, <laughs> if it's, like, too loud or too quiet. I will try to adjust it on the fly as we go, but I think it should be good. 
but I'm not sure because again we haven't done this in in seven months. I almost said seven years. That would have been very wrong. Also, I've been using Woodrow. I've just been using all of the Sordian device people. I think I was using Kong Man originally in the playthrough before, but I've been running like all of the Sordian users. I was using Leon until I got Woodrow, and then Mary on gym polishing. Basically the whole game. So, you know. Let's look at, also, you know, the emulator gets a little finicky sometimes. So if you hear like an audio bit, like what happened right there, that's not an audio setting thing. That's the emulator is mad. And by emulator, I mean my legit Sega Genesis. So I'm just showing you really quickly my Sordian devices mastered all the way up to four, because I'm sure it's different, or at least, it might not be that different, but I'm sure it's at least a little different from how it was in my original playthrough. I think the thing that's probably gonna be the most different is my equipment, because when I was speedrunning this game, I did it on simple mode, which reminds me I need to set the game back to normal instead of simple. But I played on simple so I could do it faster, and I paid almost no attention to equipment throughout the whole game. I did some re-rising here and there, but for the most part, I I still uh, re-rised gems to get like rise gems and stuff like that, but I, I speed ran the game. So my equipment is probably going to be not quite as up to snuff. Hopefully that doesn't make us suffer. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't cause us any major problems. But here's what I've got on Deemlos over to Igtenos. I think everyone is mastered all the way through 1 to 4. And some of them have partial mastery on them, but I've switched them. As I was playing the game, I would sometimes, even if someone was like 50% done with something, I would get enough device points or master something else that it would be worth switching to something else more expensive by taking it off for a little bit. So you'll see that a lot. I don't remember if I was doing that in the original playthrough or not. Here we have Clemente. I'm probably going to butcher a lot of names. Also, while I was speedrunning back my save file progress, I didn't listen to any of the dialogue. I, like, usually would have YouTube or something open on the other monitor. I'd be editing videos or something like that. So I just turned off the game audio while I was playing. So I do not remember, like, how to pronounce hardly anything, I feel like. But here's what we got going on for uh, Clement. Clemente, however you say it. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And then Otwite, I think is how you say this one. Otwite, all of level 4 mastered. Level 5, well on the way, actually. I think Demlos and Otwite, which makes sense because they're the earliest ones you get, are like the furthest along, I believe. I, d I still don't remember if this... If we ever found out if the Sordian device ends at level 6 or if there is a level 7. The level 6s seem to have a lot of 99s. Well, actually, this one, uh, Demlos only has a 90 and a 99. But I feel like a lot of the others have. Yeah, you have 399s. I think Otwight had 399s. You have 399s. It's everyone but Deemlos. You only have two 99s. So I wouldn't be surprised if 6 is the last one. Especially because, again, chat said I'm like within 10 hours of finishing the game. So we should be pretty close to the end. But, uh, whoa there. Whoa there. My legit Sega Genesis. But anyways, there you go. You've got the gist of the Sordian devices. I'm going to... Is it under Suspend? No, that's a save thing. Status? How do I... Strategy? Customize? Is it customize with select? There we go. Yeah, I'm going to put us back on normal difficulty, which I believe is what I was playing on before. So, no longer on simple. But I don't know if me having played on simple throughout the rest of the game makes any difference whatsoever. But recreating the save file, I did everything on simple. I put it on simple from the very start of the game just to let myself get through it even faster. I thought I might end up lower leveled as a result, but my levels usually matched up with how they did in the playthrough, because I checked every now and then to see, like, am I way behind level-wise? Am I going to need to do a big level grind right before, uh, right when I get back to where I was before? But I was at level 38, according to the last video, so we should be good. So now we have to go to the Ignis Sea, because we have to do something. We have to go to the Ignis Sea and a bunch of other locations, I think it was, to stop... Oh, hello. I have a status report. The zero gravity elevator is up and running. Oh, how nice. But uh, we have to go to Ignacy and a bunch of other locations, I think, to stop. The, the evil people have, like, some kind of super draconis, I think it was, that stops us from getting to the Eye of Automony or to their evil base, whatever it is, to stop them from, you know, destroying the planet. So I think that's what we're doing. Oh, is this elevator... It's used to travel between here and the surface. It can also transport supplies. Okay, so this is if... We need to go back to the the actual game map and all because we're up on the, I think it's called the Aether Sphere. We're up in the sky right now on the new layer of crust that Hugo, I think his name is Hugo, that the villains, which I believe is Hugo, are making. 
When you enter, it will take you to Darylsheed. I think that's one of the capital cities. Got it. Thank you. How nice. Enter Ignasi through the Aether Sphere. We must rock on the Aether Sphere to get to Ignasi. From Ignasi, we can get, go to Deimos. From there, we'll enter Claudius and stop the Arco Draconis. Right, the Arco Draconis. We're trying to stop it. That's what we're trying to do. I also think we're going to finally, uh, one of the Sordians, Igtenos, I think is his name. It's Woodrose, has been incapable of talking, and we're going to, like, make it where he can talk again, I think is one of the things we're doing. Woman or wiser? He didn't listen to me at all, yet a talk with Rudy was enough to change his mind. You have to consider Stan's feelings. Should I curse my own ineptitude, or should I be in awe of the power of a woman's heart? The latter, obviously. You're clueless when it comes to these things. Do you think so? Yep. <laughs> the Aether Assault, why is there a... Aether doesn't need an apostrophe there. Radis Roll's really taking a beating. It's not just that Arco Draconis. The other Aeropolis and bombarding are bombarding us too. I didn't expect this much. Are we really going to be able to last against this? Our time is running out. We have no choice but to hurry. Yeah, let's get where we need to go fast. I forgot that because this is translated and was never dubbed, I have to read all of these skits as they go, and I don't control the speed at which they go from one line to another, which is uh, not fun. Hello. What is this music? All right, so we're on the Aether Sphere. Very interesting. Okay, it's very narrow. Doesn't your hair bother you? I've been thinking about this since I first met you. Doesn't that hair get in your way? I don't grow it out this long for no reason. It's important for a shepherd to have hair like this. It is? What, so the sheep think you're one of them? Don't say that. You catch on quick, I hate everything. Well, I was joking. Like-minded, so many skits. You know, Demos used to have long hair just like you, Stan. Ah, really? So they resemble each other, huh? Well, like Sordian, like Master. I didn't grow my hair out to herd sheep, if that's what you're thinking. Kongman's daily routine. Also, I did not look at skits hardly at all when I was remaking the save file. So, some of the skits we see might be repeats from earlier in the playthrough, which I have no way of remembering if that's the case or not. Okay, push-ups done. Now for sit-ups. I love... Kong, how long are you gonna be? Hurry up or we'll leave you behind. Wait, I still gotta do my squats? A thousand of them. I can't skip those. Do them while you're walking, come on. I love the way they use the, uh, like, Kongman's portrait went back and forth right there with the, uh, the sit-ups. That's really neat. I like that. Also, the moves I use might be completely different. Again, I basically, while I was remaking my save file, I did a lot of spamming eruption, which I know I did in the playthrough proper, and I did a lot of Tiger Blade, which is what I will be doing now. I probably should have shown my equipment in all two, since that's definitely different. Get wrecked, idiots. Ow, my feelings. Get tiger bladed, son. The White, welcome to stream. Glad to have you. Been watching Pixelmon and Conquest. Hope you're enjoying. Exploiting weakness. Striking enemies, weak point damage increases. Did I really go through? Oh, you know what? I bet that the weakness, like, exploiting thing wasn't even a game mechanic when set to simple. So because I was on simple the whole time, this the game thinks this is my first time ever doing a weak point thing, which is funny. What is this? Oh. Okay, that's funny. Not the assault boar. However, will we beat the assault boar, chat? Get back, you. Get absolutely tiger bladed on. I really hope that switching... It looks like we're doing fine against random fights right now, so I'm not worried about that, I guess. But a part of me is worried that switching off of simple back to normal will suddenly be like, Oh no, I can't win any of the fights. Because I did all of the redoing the save file on simple. Get absolutely played. Why are you apologizing for that hurting? Or, oh yeah, critical hits probably also weren't a thing when I was playing on simple. If I had to guess. Alright, this is a very short path, which is nice. 
the boss fight will be the real tell. Very true. We will have to hope that the boss fight goes well. You also never know when, because let me tell you, when I had to replay through it to get back to this point, you never know when this game might suddenly hit you with a really, really annoying boss that is not representative of the rest of the bosses in the game. I had to redo the stupid cave boss, the title cave boss that I hated. Still one of my least favorite things in a Tales of game ever, that dungeon and boss. It will forever remain in my memory as one of the worst. One of my worst Tales of experiences. Ooh, we got low on health there. The Blast Gauge has a secret function. Interesting. And I also had to redo the fight against, uh, what's his name? The sword dude in the water place, Tiberius or whatever, who's only weak to sound and resists everything else. Let me tell you, I also really hated that boss fight. It was terrible. Definitely get some heals in there. What's this rock? It's just a rock. It's just hanging out. Ignacy. Or Ignacia, maybe? So this is Ignacy, or Ignacia? I couldn't tell how he pronounced it. This is Team Sordian. We will now commence our attack on Ignacia. Commence infiltration and secure the transporter quickly. Roger that. Ooh, the music. This really reminds me of the end of Abyss. This is like similar architecture, it feels like. First, we must secure the transporter terminal in Ignacy. Let's get it then. Let's go. Gamer moment. Yo, I love this music. Is this a teleporter? All right, yeah, we turn it on later. Well, going straight into a dungeon, I assume. Here we go, chat. Not a dark mage and whatever the heck these things are supposed to be. Oh my word, you have a lot of HP. I'm doing good damage, but still. Ah, oh, I got him in the weak point. Easy. Ow. Stop this. I don't like how low on health Philia is getting consistently. Hey, check this out. I don't remember if I got this. I've used this once, Final Fury, that is, while I was remaking the save file. I don't remember if I ever got it, or if I ever got the chance to use it, rather, because I you like just unlock it like two hours in-game before this. So pretty, pretty soon. But uh, I didn't realize that Stan had Final Fury as well. He was probably the first person to use Final Fury. They don't give you any of these tips or tricks if you play on simple, I guess. But, uh, oh, something that's definitely worse. I did not pay attention to the food bag at all. I just left it on Rice Ball the entire playthrough. And I never worried about... I never worried about... Uh, about trying to upgrade it or fill the food stack or anything like that. So my food stack is probably way worse now than it was in the playthrough prior. But uh, Stan was probably the first person to use Final Fury, and that's Jude's mystic art in Tales of Zillia. And as we all know, Jude is one of my favorites. Hey, what's a transport? It's a device that connects distant locations to each other and allows for fast travel. Wow, that's convenient. Yes, very convenient. Careless, more like. Well, we're short on time. Philia, what are you doing? I'm refining a new bomb I'm working on. This isn't quite what I was expecting, though. Hey, old man. Is it okay for someone like her to be handling that unstable liquid? What do you expect me to do? Glare at her? Just look at that dangerous look in her eye. Now then, if I mix that with this, the potency will increase a hundredfold. Too bad they won't be mass-produced, or can't be mass-produced. Mm-hmm. Philia, snap out of it! Well, what was I? Seems it wasn't just her look that was dangerous. Creating bombs is dangerous. Oh my goodness, so many skits that we might have already done, but I don't know. I wonder what I should do. What's Philia doing? Making bombs? She's developing new bombs. She's a terrorist. This will surely scatter them to the winds. Maybe I'm just tired, but Philia's not really acting like herself. It'd be best if you didn't ask. All right, hopefully we're not getting a bunch of repeat skits, but again, there's no way for me to know because it was seven months ago that I did this. All right, we won again. Looking good, Stan. We're counting on you. Keep it up. Yeah, leave it to me. 
Philia, what's wrong? No, it's nothing. I also forgot Woodrow is voiced by uh, the guy who does the Japanese voice for Azami from Food Wars. Great anime. What the heck is all of this I'm seeing, by the way? Yo, get speed casted, idiot. Speed cast into the Tiger Blade spam. Ow, my feelings. Eruptions for days. Ow. Ice and needle. I'm definitely taking more damage now that I'm back to normal difficulty instead of simple, I can tell. I did not, uh, I'm looking at my HP as we're fighting, like, ooh boy, HP getting pretty low. Which is not something I really had to worry about when I was redoing the save file on simple. 